My name is Wendy Newman. Uh, I'm a solutions architect with CP Systems, and I really want to jump into the second part and uh, to the second demo, which really shows how uh, you can use our platform to expand the, or how you can use our platform to bring whatever your requirements are to our platform so that you can run it locally. So it's about flexibility. It's about expandability of our platform with your own requirements. Let me uh, actually I'll go back to the slide deck. Uh, let me briefly recap what we have. So here in this specific setup, we have the bottom part, which represents a standard branch office store location with multiple devices there. And on the top, we have a dedicated out of band. The out of band provides management network or management connectivity to all of your devices down at the bottom. And you can use it to control those devices. You can use them for multiple use cases. One of the major use cases which we, uh, which we see with a lot of our customers is zero touch provisioning of, an, of a site, of servers, routers, whatever you might have. And during our last network field day, uh, we did actually a whole demo about it. So I'm not going to show that today, just wanted to mention it. You can use our platform with all your different orchestration tools to fully automate the deployment of a site. And I would just recommend anybody who's interested to see how we're doing that to take a look at the last Netbook Fiat event and our demo there. Okay. So for right now, where I want to jump in is how you can use the onboard tools, which are directly shipping with every single box to assist you in your day to day troubleshooting. Okay. Specifically, we're going to look at a couple of uh, playbooks and we're going to look at. Um, a Wireshark example, where you want to do a TCP dump and then you want to analyze, uh, um, look at the data and perform some form of analysis. Specifically for, let's start with a Wireshark example. We're using here as an example, CloudShark. Um, not sure if, if you're familiar with it, it's essentially a Wireshark instance sitting in the cloud. And what you can do with our appliances in, in our cloud, if I go to devices, I can select our device and I can apply a configuration. As I mentioned before, configurations can be anything from a standard CLI configuration, which performs a change on our device to a script. Now those scripts can do many things. They can do configuration on our appliance, but they can perform simple management tasks as well, like starting a network capture on our box and then upload it to CloudShark. So I just started that, that would be now pushed out to the device. And while that is running in the background, I'm going to show you a little bit more what you can do with the onboard tools. Uh, so does that mean that the, the ethernet interfaces and some of your devices that you're capable of running, you know, are you doing mirror sessions or, you know, whatever that is to be able to do these, these packet captures? Cause I think that's a, that's a really interesting aspect. That's, that's probably one of the hardest things for network engineers to do is get a packet capture without jumping through 10 different hoops. That's, that's, a, that's a really hard thing to solve. I think that's a, something I'd, so can, I'd like to hear more about. Yeah, so we can consume definitely uh, mirrored ports. Uh, a couple of our devices, specifically the modular device, can do a port mirroring as well. Uh, we even support network flow, uh, NetFlow on our boxes. So if you want to do a whole NetFlow capture and then forward that on to your uh, NetFlow uh, system, that is all built in and can be fully utilized. I think that is one of the biggest pieces which we want to bring across is, yes, we're coming from the out of band space. Yes, we know exactly what we're talking about in that space, but we are providing far more. We are really going into the whole network management side as well, providing a platform for network administrators to do the daily operational tasks. Okay. So the, uh, the one thing which I want to show here right now is I wanted to highlight, and now I'm just looking up. Oh, so you see this target device, which is a Cisco server. It's connected through a serial port TTYS3. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use a small Ansible playbook to interact with the device, pull some information from it um, using the serial console connection and then directly update our local system. Now, this is a very basic example. Essentially, what we are really providing here is 
We are providing an interface to interact with your end devices using the serial connection, the console connections. We see that more and more in the data center where more and more uh, customers you going back to serial co console connections to do some basic um, uh, configurations. And that can be ZTP uh, configuration of a device to, to anything else. So edge. So what that playbook will do, it will log into the serial port, the one which we just saw, TTY is free. We'll run some standard Cisco commands against it. We'll get the output from it, pass it, and then just uh, respond back to it. It will as well upgrade the local node grid. Now, the point here is not that we want to necessarily promote Ansible or anything like it. I used Ansible because I just I didn't want to type so much. And it's, it's a great way of showing some of the capabilities of our end-to-end -end, uh, autom automation. Um, you can host those playbooks on any platform you might have. You might want to use Git. You might want to use um, our local file storage or anything like it. So essentially, that is just spoke, has just uh, talked uh, to the local enterprise. You can see its uh, host name and its management IP. And um, if I refresh the screen, you can see it updated its host name as well, but I could have done 500 other things with it. The main point here is Ansible, for example, it's directly built into our box. There's no need to, um, to update anything, no need to install anything. Now, in terms of exp uh, expandability, you can install other pieces onto our node grid in the same way. For Python, for example, we fully support virtual environments where you can install your own packages, your own uh, virtual packages, but you can use them as well to um, run additional applications like a Docker application or a full-blown KVM um, uh, virtual machine application. Sorry, there's a small issue here on uh, if, if I open it that way, let me briefly log in here. And then that is very likely the last thing which we could to show. Um, so if we go to applications, you have a full management interface to manage your, your applications. They can be Docker applications, they can be virtual machines. So you can run full blown uh, virtual machines on it. And you can pretty much install whatever is available, whatever runs on an x86 platform, you have a way of running it on our platform. Besides that, we support a multitude of different endpoints like uh, Splunk, like, um, we have a Telegraph uh, agent, for example, on it as well, which can directly push data into AWS, Google Cloud, or in 50 other uh, endpoints as well. So there's a wide variety of different things you can do with it.